first guest tonight is uh, an Oscar-winning actor, a director, producer, activist, thunder goddess, and now she is a best-selling author of a children's book. Natalie Portman's Fables is available now. Please say hello to Natalie Portman. Hi, Natalie. Hello. Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm good. You're very far away from us, aren't you? I am. I'm down under. Yeah. In Australia. Like, what time is it there now? It's noon on Tuesday. Oh, it's... So, we're in December here. Oh, wow. What's December going to be like? Give us a preview. <laughs> summer, summer is starting, guys. All right, it's the opposite season-wise over there, although it still feels like summer here, really. How long have you been over there in Australia? I've been here a few months, yeah, and gonna be here for a few more months for, for Thor. Yeah, you're preparing to shoot Thor. And is it, do you know everything that's happening in the movie already? No. You don't? No, very, very little, but um, just, you know, trying to train, look like a, an action figure at some point, hopefully. You know that in um, in the comics, your character Jane Foster becomes Thor. She takes on the powers right. of Thor and the hammer and everything like that. Do you know? Will you? Do you know if you? I know you can't say, but do you know? Yes. You will become Thor. Yes. Yes. The mighty Thor. The it's, mighty Thor. Yes. Uh, she's she's the, the the Jane Foster Thor is called the mighty Thor. Yes. Especially when, you know, you've been riding a horse for a long time and then you say, oh, I'm the mighty Thor. <laughs> we used to have a drummer. We used to have a drummer here. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I think the COVID got him. There's a, there is no COVID there in Australia right now, is there? It's like, it's very healthy and safe there, right? Yeah, the government has done a really, really incredible job um, at being, yeah, getting, it's been three weeks with no no local cases. Are you saying our government in the United States of America has not done a great job? <laughs> oh, oh, no, I would never. I would never say anything like that. <laughs> That's kind of weird because you're, yeah, you're, you're far away and you're living like normal people. Like they used to live in the olden times. Yeah, it, it definitely feels like a like a time machine, uh, and very grateful to get the opportunity to to live like that. Yeah, I bet. Did you celebrate Thanksgiving American style there? Yeah, it's sort of like a food celebration with a little acknowledgement of you know the the history, dark history of the country, rather than the way <laughs> I grew up doing it. But we certainly did uh, uh, enjoy the food of the holiday. Maybe I should do that, because I'm just like, yeah, these people came, they had hats with belt buckles on them. <laughs> and, uh, and now here we are. <laughs> Did you cook a turkey? It, or, oh, you are, you are no. vegan, correct? I'm vegan, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I found, I don't know if it's Australian or if I just discovered it while here, but there's this thing called Susie Spoon Vegan Butcher. They have all these kind of fake meat preparations, so... Got some plant-based schnitzel, and that was our centerpiece of our meal. Really? Someone carved the schnitzel at your at your Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> very, very traditional. What's in the plant-based schnitzel? Uh, unclear. <laughs> uh, sort of you didn't ask too many questions. Soy, you know. Not me. Speaking of schnitzel, let's take a look at the picture Chris Hemsworth <laughs> posted uh, on Instagram. <laughs> I mean, Speaking of schnitzel, great I don't, segue. I haven't seen Chris for about a year, and I think he has gained 40 pounds of muscle, at least based on that photo. It doesn't even look real. It's um, otherworldly. Yeah. I, I also, I like, I feel like um, I'm so unversed in what muscles do and how they get like that. Like, I was like, does the blood drain out of you when you use your muscles? Because it looks so white, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, his body think... is white, yeah. But yeah. I feel like it's a T-shirt tan, <laughs> right? Is that I... what's happening? It looks like maybe, yeah. I don't get oh, either Chris, that or the blue. We got to get you some spray tan. We got to help help with the, the, the muscle pictures. You know, we should also get him a AAA card because he seems to be changing his tires by himself. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> He's looking good. It's a lot of pressure. I'm going to I'm going to look like his little uh, grandma next to him. <laughs> <laughs> Are your kids enjoying being in Australia? Yes, it's it's very lucky and so um it's so different, like all the animals are different, the trees are different, the, I mean, even the birds, like the, uh, there's like multicolored parrots flying around like pigeons. It's yeah. wild. And they'll kill you, those things, right? Everything is dangerous. <laughs> it's actually not the like big things that are, like the dangerous things are like the little spiders. Yeah, the little spiders you have to watch out for. Are the kids picking up accents? There, that kid, kids um, seem to do that, right? More like more words, because you need to, uh, like, you know, when you want something, like they they say lollies now instead of candy. Oh. Um, and tomato sauce instead of ketchup. <laughs> when you want what you want, you gotta say it the way the locals do, you know. That's so right. I, I'd like some tomato sauce with my chips. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, the kids are learning. You don't want to get beat up. You save getting beat up when you get back home. You start saying tomato in Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> they're, very, they're very flexible. Speaking of children, you have written a, a book for children. It's called Natalie Portman's Fables, and we will go through that when we come back. We'll be right back with Natalie Portman from Australia. <laughs> Natalie Portman is with us. Natalie has written a book. There it is, Natalie Portman's Fables. You've adapted some classic uh, children's stories, correct? Correct. Yeah, I I love the classic fables and morals that they pass down from, you know, we've grew, grown up with them. Our parents and grandparents grew up with them. But I realized when I was reading them to my kids that um, all the characters were male and I didn't want either of my kids to, to have that. So I made it more reflective of the animal kingdom, right. um, but kept the sort of classic messages of them. So um, it was a really fun project to, to kind of create for my kids. As you know, you have a you wrote a kids book too. You know what I liked that you did. Uh, I have to say you, the whole book rhymes, which I think is great. In my uh, the children's book that I wrote, they told me not to rhyme, not to bother rhyming everything, and I was like, really? I thought you kind of had to do that. But that's you do have to do that with fables. I mean, right? That's part of the deal. I don't know. I, I, I love, I know when I read to my kids, I love things that have a rhyme. I find it easier to um, kind of read over and over and over again. Um, and, uh, and also in my family, like my mom always wrote our, all the holiday cards and everything in rhyme. So it felt like kind of a family thing. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Now you bought a woman's soccer team. I, I was reading uh, here in Los Angeles, right? You're one of the owners of the team. Yes, it's super exciting. We have an incredible ownership group of incredible athletes like Serena Williams and Billie Jean King and um, Lindsey Vaughn and 14 former U.S. national team players. And then a bunch of actresses also came together. So uh, Jess Chastain and Jen Garner and Eva Longoria, America Ferreira, Uzo Aduba. We've got a whole incredible group. I'm sure I'm leaving people out. And then a group of tech and business women um, came together to um, start this first professional women's soccer team in Los Angeles in a while. So we're, we're starting in 2022. That seems like... That seems like it would be a Dang. lot of, of fun. Do you, did you play soccer as a kid? I am so n not athletic and I admire it so much. It's like all my friends from growing up are kind of laughing at me that I, uh, that I have anything to do with professional sports. But oh. um, it, I, I just think it's such an incredible, like, that talent that these women have and wanted to celebrate their, their great achievement. And, amplify the, what they're doing because we have an incredible women's soccer league in this country and unfortunately they don't get the kind of journalistic coverage or you know kind of media coverage that they deserve except when it's the world cup and so we've got to watch them when they're playing their home games too and support them too when they're you know not just on the international stage when you were a kid you were not enrolled in a you, you were not playing on a youth soccer team we have a photograph here that I wanted to run by. And now that's that's you at what age? Um, I seven, I would guess. 
watch that looks like seven, eight. No, it's 1990. So um, I was born in 81. So I guess I'm nine there. And those puppies were hit with some kind of radiation to make them that size? <laughs> or maybe I was shrunken to be puppy size. <laughs> I don't know. This it's definitely is... some, some questionable proportions at Sears. <laughs> this is... This is what, where, where is this photograph displayed? <laughs> oh, at my parents' house? <laughs> on, you know, it's what happens when you're an only child is like there's a lot of weird, <laughs> unflattering pictures <laughs> happening everywhere. <laughs> and, yeah, that is a good one. I mean, yeah, there are some, we have some weird pictures, but not with the not with the giant puppies <laughs> like that. <laughs> I mean, you weren't at the mall on Long Island in 1990, so no, sadly, you missed out, friend. <laughs> sadly, I was not. What mall was that? Do you remember? Probably uh, Roosevelt Field, maybe. I don't know. Somewhere, <laughs> somewhere, you know. Somewhere people maybe aren't the allowed. The Mall. I don't know. To go into now. Well, it's very good to talk to you. Thanks for giving us uh, the update on how December is going. This is the book. It's called <laughs> Natalie Portman's Fables. It's out now. Natalie Portman, everybody. We'll be right back with David Chang. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, click the subscribe button. And if you didn't like it, well, you hurt my feelings.